When I was a teenager, I experienced both rape and sexual abuse. When I started my pregnancy journeys, I knew that because of previous sexual trauma, it was going to be so important to me to have both choice and also to feel informed and to be heard. Women who have experienced previous sexual abuse, it's as varied as anything how they could be feeling. But I would say a, a pretty consistent thing is around anxiety of loss of dignity and loss of control, really. One of the reasons that I went into the specialist role was because I myself have a history of sexual abuse and I really felt that it was an important thing to develop in midwifery, our understanding and our ability to create a culture where women feel safe enough to talk about it. It doesn't have to be another area that they hide. I chose to tell my healthcare providers that I had experienced previous sexual abuse. It, it was handled well when I disclosed that, and it was written into my notes. I really led that from a place of, I will let you know if there is additional care or support that I need. Even if your mind has recovered really well from a trauma of sexual assault or abuse, your body has this incredible way of remembering it. And so what can happen when you're pregnant is you may uh, be experiencing feelings and thoughts that you didn't have before. I would consider disclosing to them your history because it can be a really important piece of information for us as professionals to know because it might help us understand what's happening or preempt what might be happening for you in the future. Knowing what's going to trigger you or cause you concern or issue or potentially even future trauma is such an individual thing and often you don't know what is going to trigger or cause you concern. I have a history of sexual trauma does not then necessarily get relayed to everybody that has to come into the room. Knowing when to say to someone, oh, actually, this is triggering me, is what self-agency is. When you have the power to say something about this, either inside of me or outside of me does not feel right, I want to pause and I want somebody to work with me through this so that it does feel all right about how can we get this back on track. That has to come from yourself, even if your healthcare professional has it very clearly written on your notes, previous sexual trauma. It can be really useful to begin to prepare in a slightly different way than just maybe a straightforward book about pregnancy. When I was pregnant I spoke to a lot of people so that might be talking therapy or that might just be talking to my partner or talking to friends or talking to people that I feel comfortable with. I also journal giving myself the space to allow my thoughts and my feelings to come out from inside and be somewhere. If you've had a background of preparation in learning to bring your mind back in control, it really can be a time of reclaiming rather than re-traumatising, where you can take back the ownership that was taken from you originally. I would always recommend that you make a birth plan in conjunction with your healthcare professional, so with your midwife or if you have a therapist or you're under the mental health team. It's really important that that birth plan is done together. You direct it so that you understand what you want. It is possible that there could be situations where um, what's happening with you or the baby moves from being something that's really safe to something that we're a bit 
more concerned about. And there's lots of um, guidelines for us on moving very quickly in those situations. That can make you feel that it's quite rushed. You may feel a bit out of control. So it's important to have discussions with your midwife around emergency situations. You can then decide how much detail you want to know and how start planning about how you're going to feel if any of those things come up. I've given birth twice. Having a birth partner and a doula who knew my intentions and my hopes for my birth helped us to keep us on, on the track that we hoped to be on. And knowing that we had the, the right to say, actually, we need time was really powerful for us. When you have a positive experience of birth, it's gonna help regain that bodily control that you lost. So there is massive light at the end of the tunnel and there is huge amounts of support out there available for women um, through various talking therapies, through your midwife, through your GP um, that you can access. Both my pregnancies and my labours and birth have been healing in my journeys of knowing and understanding my body and knowing how to make choices for my body. My pregnancies and births have given me that opportunity to reclaim parts of myself that were denied to me earlier on in my life.